Bonjour à tous. It's a beautiful day in Paris and the coffee is good. My name is Mrs McInnes and I would like to tell you a bit about the opportunities for young people continuing with a language from S3 into S4. In S3, pupils have already opted into studying one, two or three languages, French, Spanish and or Italian. In S4, pupils can continue with the same language they have chosen in S3 and will go forward to prepare for national exam presentations. There are lots of exciting ways in which pupils can enhance their language learning skills within the department. We currently have partner schools in the Canary Islands and Madrid in Spain, Brittany in France, and we also have other partner schools that are learning Spanish in Poland, Estonia and Czech Republic. Pupils have the chance to communicate via the traditional letter writing and sending of postcards, uh, sending artwork, but they also have the opportunity to communicate via Skype calls from class to class. They have the opportunity to share learning ideas, to share different um, thoughts they have about the culture of their, their own culture and the other school's culture. And they also have the opportunity to send video clips and to communicate via email um, through a forum called eTwinning. Over the past five years, we have taken pupils to visit partner schools in Spain, France, Ger Germany and Turkey. And we've also welcomed pupils here in Holyrood on a reciprocal visit and they've spent a week taking part in lessons, shadowing pupils, having lunch with pupils, going to the cinema and doing all the things that our young people do here at Holyrood. We've also welcomed teachers from other schools and um, teachers from the schools that we've been working with, but also teachers from Italy, Lebanon and Holland to work with our Holyrood young, pupil, uh, young people um, <clears throat> to develop language skills and cultural understanding. Every year we also take part in the Glasgow Havana Film Festival where we welcome film director Hugo and Irene to our school to work with senior pupils on um, discussing filmmaking, uh, culture, politics, food, life in Cuba, life in Scotland um, and all the different things that surround that. Um, all projects we uh, embark on have a focus on working on teamwork and interpersonal skills. These skills that the pupils, our young people develop are essential for working in, in, a, in a global context in society nowadays. Most recently, our European projects have looked at comparative diet and lifestyle in France and Spain and sustainable tourism. These projects are interesting, not only from a linguistic perspective, but also really, really important to health and well-being, economic development, environmental protection and sustainability. Did you know that Spain is now considered to be the healthiest country in the world? That Italy has a city called Prato, which is dedicated to sustainable fashion, and that France uses five times less single-use plastics than the UK. This is huge, and this is why now, more than ever, language learning and global communication skills are imperative for all our young people at Holyrood. We are really looking forward to welcoming our Holyrood young people into the Modern Languages Department to continue with French, Spanish and or Italian this year. So I took part in the trip to X with the school. Um, I really enjoyed it. It allowed me to build friendships and have friends for life there. You know, if I go back, if maybe do a year there, it would maybe really help me. It allowed me to use my French and learn the new things that I did not know before, their lifestyle and how um, their school system works as well. And I would, I would recommend it to someone who is learning a language because I believe, even if it's a short period of time, it, it really does help you and become more fluent. 